This is practice help for the theme from Mario. We're going to be starting out in next door position with your left hand on middle C and your right hand next door on D. And first I'm just going to play it straight through so you can hear how it's supposed to sound. slower and I'm going to stop and explain the tricky parts. Okay, so we're starting out in that next door position, C and D, and we start with our top hand. Alright, now when we get here, you're going to be stretching your left hand so that your one stays on middle C, but the rest of your hand is stretched down one note lower. So your two finger is on A, your three finger is on G, your four finger is on F, and your five finger is on E. Keeping the thumb on middle C, that means there's nothing on B. We're not playing that note at all. Alright, so here comes the stretch. And as soon as we do that, we're going to change the left hand. It's coming to a squeeze position now. We're going to put your thumb on B and your three on A like that, so they're right next to each other, your two finger is going to play the black key, B flat. So we've got B, B flat, and A. Right there, real close together. A, B, B flat, A, G, regular C, no stretch. Then we're going to repeat that part. There are repeat dots there. They take you back to where the previous repeat sign was, so we're going from here back to right here, and we're going to play all of that again a second time. That's where we repeat. Okay, so we go back, left hand stretch, rest, left hand squeeze, no squeeze. All right, now we're ready for the last part. These are our last two lines, starting with measure number seven. Your right hand is going to be squeezed now. We're going to put our 1 on D sharp. That's a black key. Then your 2 goes on E. Your 3 goes on F. Your 4 goes on G flat. And your 5 goes on G. So we're using all of our black and white keys between D sharp and G. Every single one of those. All right, so here we go. G, G flat, F, D sharp, E. That was five, four, three, one, two. Watch out for the black key on the left hand there. White key. Last time we used our thumb, it was on that D sharp. We're going to drop it down to the D natural. Now we've got the squeeze again. Okay, now here comes the fun part. Go into white keys. We're going to play a five and four. That's G and A. The fun part is the left hand is going to crisscross up above the right hand and play high C. We're going to play those notes at the same time. That's G, A, and C. Then we go back to our next door position. We're going to be repeating again. If you look at your music here, we've got repeat sign right there that takes us back to this repeat sign. We're going to repeat all of this and then the second time we skip where it says number one here, we're going to skip everything under that number one line and go to number two and play this part. So we're going to play ba da 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 skip bum 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 that's how we do the second time. All right, so here comes the second repeat, squeezing the right hand, black key on the left hand. D natural, E flat, and that's the end of the song. All right, for your rhythm on this one, there are lots of eighth notes and quarter notes and rests and things thrown in there um, that you might not be real sure about. 
but if you've been playing the game and you've been listening to the song, then you know exactly how your rhythm should sound. So just try to find the right notes and then play it the way that you think it should sound for your rhythm.